salsa is just something that I enjoy eating with everything. And it's usually the simplest thing people come up with. It's basically all vegetables that can go into anything just come out of one jar. For Johnny Davis, salsa is a staple in every meal. But it took a suggestion from a friend for him to take his love of salsa and make it a business. I didn't even think it as a business venture at the time. Before I could make it and sell it without having a processing permit or an actual certified kitchen, because I was making a lot of small batches, so I was at eight to 12 a week, and now I'm close to almost 100 jars a week. An increase in demand also means more hours in the kitchen. But finding the extra time can be difficult. The construction job takes seven to eight hours, and then just finding time to do another six hours of salsa can make things a little hectic. But I think I've worked that out as for times when I get in the kitchen and times that I can actually do the work. I think the texture and the flavor is what actually keeps people coming back. I just get rid of all the seeds. Right now, I've got a local grower because the stores are inconsistent with um, quality and quantity. So it's going to be more of a consistent flavor and spice because the pepper is going to be from one ground, one area. The flavor of it, it just tastes more flavor and it's more potent and there's a more depth to it. His salsa is always good and fresh and tastes like he literally made it that morning and brought it over because he probably did. Johnny uses fresh produce, custom labels, and mason jars to make Johnny's salsa stand out. He does one more thing that's unique to his salsa. He delivers it. It's not just that he delivers, but how he delivers it. Right now, it's a single speed freewheel. It was easy when it was just me and my bag and the bicycle. But then when the deliveries moved up, I had to get a trailer to account for the increase. Even with the additional orders, Johnny still wants to deliver it by bike. But that decision stems from a past mistake. A DUI, actually a double DUI. I got the first one and um, I started riding bike just because I was tired of asking for rides or walking. I thought I learned, but I didn't learn. And so I got a second one. And then I was like, nope, I'm completely done with that. Even on his bike, traffic can still be a problem when out on deliveries. Drivers, car drivers, some are very bicycle alert, and others just don't care. They'll yell at you for no specific reason. I wear parts down faster. My pedals burn out, the chains burn out, the brakes burn out. Other minor issues are just flat tires, um, cables, and just other little things that just happen. But that's just because you're pulling weight behind it. Still, the made by hand, the people like because it's fresh. But I think the most enthusiasm people get is actually being delivered by bicycle. He loves riding his bike, so for him to have the opportunity to do two things that he loves at one time is fantastic. It'll always be delivered by bicycle, either via me or friends. It's just kind of fun to like see some guy bring up a bunch of salsa over with his bike. Hey, hi. 
Hi. Are we doing? There's your salsa. Oh, thanks. It's a neat, unique thing to have in Lincoln.